I'm Bruce Vanderveen and co-owner. I'm Scott Vanderveen and co-owner of Vandell Farms. Well, uh, Dad started with jerseys back in 1939 down in Marengo, Illinois. Uh, moved multiple times. He uh, moved up here in 1960 and uh, bought this farm. Kind of bought it as a fixer-upper. And uh, him and Mom uh, worked along up until the 1970s when Scott joined in the operation. In the 60s there, it was just an 80 acres. Like I said, when we took the tour, it was just a 25, 30 cow barn and had to get it all grade A and all that. Fast forward then that this, I got married in 73 and lived two miles down the road and we formed a corporation like in 76, 76. Bruce takes care of the genetics end of it. I don't have any part in that. I had enough genetic business with the pigs and I, I feed and fix and just do whatever and we chop hay and silage. We all work together on everything. And We've always tried to use top end genetics. I like to think our cows can do as well for anyone else as they can us, if not better. Our management is not that intense. Um, it's just good solid management, good feed, good genetics, and good care. We've, uh, we've used Jersey mating through the years to mate most of these cows. We don't push them real hard. We mix a single group ration, TMR ration for them. Yes, our, uh, this, this year we were ranked uh, with the American Jersey Cattle Association uh, for our herd size, number one for milk and uh, number one for fat production. <laughs> Well, we've always just strived for a productive uh, commercial cow. Uh, we've never been much to be in the show ring. It just wasn't something that we uh, had time for or desire to do. Uh, always appreciate a good looking cow. Um, but functionally, we gotta have good feet and good udders. And uh, that's what we've strived for. We have a couple special cow families in here with some genomic tests that have done quite well. Um, and we'll highlight those in the sale. Uh, but this is just a good working herd, uh, functionally ready to go to work. Over the years, the breed has tried to become more docile and it certainly has been, to the point of frustration. We can't make them move sometimes. But yeah, the herd, uh, they're housed in a freestall housing with access to pasture and open lots. As far as technology goes, I would say we've always been uh, working on with some genomic testing and, and help with selecting sires and breeding. We haven't seen a need because we're more of a personal herd. We've been able to manage it with a good eye for cows. Basically, it's been a three-person show. Uh, uh, Jeff, our, our herdsman and an all-around helper, he's been here since 2011. He uh, actually owns cattle in the operation. And we're brothers, we don't always get along, but yeah. you know, we, we got to settle the argument for the end of the day. I've always enjoyed farming. I, I don't necessarily like getting up early, but once I get out, the early morning, the quiet part of the morning, uh, watching the sun come up. Um, like today, the cows are out on pasture overnight and uh, seeing them come in from there and it just, it's peaceful. It would be hard to go to work for somebody else. Yeah. It about the same, just your own boss and something, there's always something different to do during the day. There's some stuff that's routine, but then there's surprises and then this, well, we're gonna do this today. We're gonna cut hay, we're gonna spray, we're gonna combine, we're gonna whatever. And that's, uh, that's part of what I like, rather than just standing there doing the same thing all day, every day. <laughs>